Okay, let's have a little walk around this uh, 1965 on a C um, Land Rover Series 2A, 88 inch short wheelbase petrol, finished in uh, bronze green with uh, limestone roof. It's been, um, I think bronze green was always its original colour, um, has been, looks like hand painted, but actually really quite well done actually. It's not a, not a bad finish at all, it's nice and, uh, nice and glossy. Um, Pretty much a standard spec vehicle. It's got a matching set of Avon Rain, set of four Avon Rangemaster 750R16 tyres on it. The spare is a different one, but uh, matching set of four. It's got rear mud flaps on it. Um, it's also got the lashings for a, a soft top as well. Um, proper deep seals that a Series 2A should have. It's got three wheel front hubs, twin front towing. Uh, towing balls, um, bonnet mounted spare wheel and inside um, instead of the normal series seats it's got the rather more comfortable defender style three seats across the, across the, uh, the front. In the back it's just standard, um, standard metal, there's no seats in the back at the minute. Only mechanical difference that I can find it's got a, a series three gearbox, the latest series three gearbox rather than the uh, original two A style box on it. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, as I say, generally a smart looking little car actually. Really quite nice, all nice around the front end. Um, evidence of some a previous split in the aluminium just down there on the base of the, uh, um, the wing front, but otherwise around the top here, all pretty good. A little bit of paint loss on the edge of the bonnet. Um, looks like it was painted a few years ago, shall we say, but uh, not a bad job for all that. Um, all looks quite nice inside there. Probably had new outriggers on it at some point, certainly the near side outrigger. Um, near side front wing all looks good. A couple of very, very tiny sort of depression just in the front of the near side front wing there, but that's about it. Down the sides by Land Rover standards actually looks pretty, um, pretty correct and, uh, and straight. Um, a few paint blemishes just up here on the back of the near side front wing. Uh, scuttle panel all looks nice, that all looks very good round there. A post all looks good, just looks um, nice and tidy and uh, correct round there all round. Um, passenger door all looks good, near side modesty cover looks good, the, the tail part of the near side modesty cover has got a very slight split just there, um, but old stuff that. Doors seem to be in pretty good shape, there's no sort of uh, nasty rusting around the door tops or anything like that, they all look good. It's obviously had new um, uh, floor panels bolted into it, but the um, the tow boards and everything all look good, certainly on the near side. Bulkhead looks good from what I can see from here. Um, seat wise, interior wise, there's a one inch split in the uh, in the base on the near side on the passenger seat, but other than that, not bad at all. And a little split in the top of the middle seat just there. In the back, I say it's just standard green, um, but uh, pretty good for all that actually. Near side rear wing, there's a, evidence of a couple of previous creases just down here, which they always pick up, but uh, as it is a aluminium skin Land Rover, it sort of adds to the pattern, really. Um, around the tail end, just have a little look under here. It's had at least a new rear quarter chassis on it, at the very least. But actually all quite nicely done by the look of it. Um, so presumably the cross member is fairly recent as well. All looks pretty good around there. Tail end all looks nice. That's my bag in the back, which won't come with it. But otherwise, in the back here, it all uh, it's all as it should be, really. A bit, uh, bit dirty in there. Probably could benefit from a bit of a, a wash down. No more than that. Tailgate shuts nicely. Let's just check the tailgate bottom frame. That's all right, actually. Pretty good. Uh, what else? Um, down the offside rear. Offside rear corner is a bit crinkled here. It's obviously had a dent beaten out of it at some point. But again, it just adds to the pattern of old Land Rover, really, where it's just sort of a bit crinkled around there. Um, otherwise, that all looks good. Uh, driver's door's got a couple of minor depressions just in the barrel side there and there, but no more than that. Um, a post all looks good. Uh, scuttle corner looks nice. Yep, that's all good. Um, offside front wing, couple of minor depressions, one there. And one there and a tiny one there but you know it is a um, what 40 uh, 46 year old Land Rover now so and inside here again the doors 
door on this side looks good as well. It's, um, it's not rusting up in the corner here or anything. It all looks nice. Um, footwell, toe boards all look good. Yeah, quite nice. So a little look under the back here again. Yeah, you see the rear quarter chassis where that's been fitted. Um, look under the front end. And again, I think it's had new outriggers on it as well. Just, you know, just a nice little, little car, this one. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353. We're in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard debit cards and credit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. Um, and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world, obviously, at a cost. That's about it. End.